Pick a medium. Any medium. What do you need? I've got it. Except for the gal kit, which is coming in the mail. In this video, I'm going to be going over four different mediums. I'm going to go over my original recipe, secret sauce, taught to me by my art professor. I'm going to have the liquid original. And some linseed stand oil. And then the gal kit. So I'm going to paint um, four different eyes with these four different mediums and kind of compare what the um, results are. You know, how well the paint goes down, how well it dries, the time it takes to dry, and what they look like uh, when they're all finished. And as far as the um, Schminky Rapid Medium goes, which is this, this medium right here, I use this for the last three paintings I did of uh, Mr. Beast, Jeff Bezos, and Elon Musk. And it worked out okay, but I wasn't really totally happy with the way that the paint dried and how when you applied the paint it looked one way, but then after it dried it looked way different in the way that it just shrunk up and stuff like that. So uh, that's why I'm going to experiment with some other mediums and just kind of see if there's one I like better. Okay, first up is Liquin Original. Overall for this first layer, for the underpainting, I'm, I feel pretty happy with the way that the Liquin uh, performed. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up for now and then we'll see how it goes with the rest of the painting process. I'm going to speed this up so we can get on to the next medium. Next up is the linseed stand oil. I use this straight just as it is out the bottle and I found this to be kind of like painting with syrup. Very sticky and honestly I didn't really enjoy it. I'm thinking what really needs to happen here is to be painting with mineral spirits or paint thinner uh, and then mixing in a little bit of the stand, linseed stand oil uh, with that mixture. Once again, let's go ahead and speed this uh, process up and get on to the next medium. Okay, so next up is the Galkid. I found this medium to be really nice. It applied the paint very well to the canvas. I was just overall really pleased with the way it performed. Um, very smooth, very just easy going. Um, very similar to the liquid. So, so far the liquid and the Galkid are really working out well. The only real difference between like the Galkid and the liquid is that the Galkid seems like it um, really held the color better. It just seemed um, more of its natural color, more, a little more darker, as where the liquid really lightened the uh, paint a little more than the Galkid did. So at the moment, I'm leaning towards the Galkid. And with that, let's go ahead and speed this one up and get on to the last medium. The Secret Formula. So I actually really enjoy painting with the secret formula, but because of one of the ingredients, distilled turpentine, it's actually really hazardous to your health. And I had an incident in college where it just messed up my health severely and it took me several years to get over and, and get back to normal. And so even just trying out this uh, secret formula here in the studio, I have to wear a respirator uh, to use it now. I am the father. And that's a big bummer, which is one of the reasons why I want to look for a new medium. Also, when I'm done painting with it and I take off the respirator, the smells are still lingering and it actually still affects me. So this is the reason why I'm looking for a new medium to use. And I'm just using the secret formula here to try to compare it to these other mediums while I paint. Ultimately, someday I would like to have a really nice studio with really good ventilation and maybe I could go back to the secret formula. But for now, I'm gonna have to move on to something like the Gal Kid or the Liquin. Okay, day two here in the studio, checking up on the status of the different mediums we painted yesterday. It looks like the Liquin Original and the Gal Kid are both dry to the touch. It hasn't been quite 24 hours, so that's really good if you like to paint in layers. The Secret Formula is almost completely dry to the touch. It could probably use one more day and the linseed stand oil is completely wet. So at this point, I'm no longer gonna do anything else with the linseed stand oil, and I'm just gonna focus on the other ones. At this point, I'm also gonna go ahead and stop using the secret formula, and I'm just gonna focus on the liquid and the galkid, since the whole reason I'm even doing this experiment is to actually replace the secret formula with something that's gonna be a little safer for my health. So now, let's get on to layer two. All right, here's layer two of Liquin Original, applying more yellow ochre. And now let's move on to the Galkid layer two. 
All right, day three, layer three. Now I'm gonna add some uh, burnt umber instead of the yellow ochre and just keep the layering process going. Probably gonna do one more layer after this and then I'm gonna call the underpainting good and then we'll move on to the next layers. So the liquid went down really smoothly on this third layer, really pleased with it. On the Galkid layer, uh, it didn't really go down as nicely as the first two layers and it was actually just kind of giving me a little bit of a hard time here. It wasn't as smooth as the liquid. All right, day four, layer four. I just um, put a little bit more of burnt umber down, the last layer of burnt umber. So at this point, I would say this underpainting process is finished. I'm now going to move on to adding some more paint over top, kind of like the next stage of the painting. So we will do that tomorrow when this layer is dry. Layer four, the liquid went down really nice. Very happy. Galkid layer four didn't go down so well and came out too dark. Okay, so here in layer five, I've decided to go ahead and try to add more color than I normally would, just to see if I can speed up the process of painting, try to paint faster. In this Galkid layer 5, I'm just laying down basic color. After the linseed stand oil failed to work out, I decided to go ahead and do an Ala Prima version of the eye uh, with just odorless thinner. So I didn't record the first part, but this is actually the second sitting of this eye, so I guess it's no longer Ala Prima. But I was able to just try out painting without any real medium and just using paint thinner and it seems to work out pretty good. So with this last layer of Galkid, it started to remove the paint from the previous layer. So for me, the Galkid is now a failure and I'm no longer interested in this medium. And now we have the last layer of the Liquin Original. I was pretty pleased with this overall, it worked out quite well. I'd say between the liquid original and then just painting kind of all a prima with the paint thinner, those are the two best options from this whole experiment. So for my next painting, I'm probably going to use either the liquid original or I'm going to just paint it with some paint thinner and maybe adding in a little bit of linseed stand oil um, if I start doing a lot of layers with a lot of paint. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this little experiment with the painting mediums. I hope you gain some knowledge here for your next painting and which medium you want to try and use.